ultimate route to JE success with JE test prep app by Extra Marks, adaptive testing platform, India's top faculty, micro scheduling, live and recording sessions, doubt solving sessions, national level weekly test, analytics and reports. Download the app now. Hi everyone, I am Pargal Swankar from Extra Marks Chemistry Faculty. So in last class we have discussed about the physical and chemical properties of the 15 group elements and we have discussed about some general properties also. So today we are going to discuss about the nitrogen. Okay, in that we'll discuss about the element nitrogen. So what is that element nitrogen? We'll discuss that today. So nitrogen. So nitrogen in this we'll discuss today. The key points for today's class is nitrogen. Then we'll see its preparation method. Then we'll see its physical property. Then we'll see its chemical property and we'll see its uses. So nitrogen. Nitrogen can occur in free state as well as in combined state. Okay, so it occurs in free state as well as in combined state. So we'll see the preparation, how we'll get the nitrogen in a good amount. So first of all, the preparation method is lab method. So what is this lab method? So lab method, uh, you can extract the nitrogen in the lab by ammonium chloride, that is NH4Cl, when it will react with Na. NO2 that is sodium nitrite okay so you will get N2 then H2O then you will get NaCl so this is the extraction method by the lab okay so when ammonium salt that is ammonium chloride when it will react with sodium nitrite you will get um, uh, you will get nitrogen that is N2 in the form of N2 and water plus NaCl next is the commercial method, how you can get it commercially, commercially you can get it by the fractional distillation of liquid air. Okay. The next is by thermal decomposition of azides and especially the azides of barium and the sodium. See, N3 is known as azide ion. So if I'll write Ba N3 hold twice, Ba N3 hold twice on thermal decomposition of this, you'll get Ba plus N2 and you'll get 3N2. Similarly like this sodium azide Na N3 on the thermal decomposition of this what you will get you will get Na plus N2 okay so you'll get again nitrogen by the thermal decomposition of azides also. So this is the preparation method. Now we'll see the physical properties. What are the physical properties involved with respect to nitrogen? So it is colorless, it is odorless, it is tasteless gas. Okay, it is also a non-toxic gas. It is low soluble in water. It is not that much soluble in water. Then it has low freezing point and boiling point and it can be absorbed by the activated charcoal also. So these all are the physical properties. Now we'll go through the chemical properties of the nitrogen. What are the chemical properties involved in it? First of all, nitrogen. Nitrogen, if I'll say about nitrogen, nitrogen is very, very, like it is very unreactive. Why? because it carries n triple bond n so the bond association energy of this n triple bond n is quite hard or is very much so the breaking of this bond is quite difficult so if it is difficult you cannot break the bond easily if you it is not able to break the bond easily so it will unreactive in nature okay but sometimes it it shows reaction as i will say about Ca, this is very famous reaction, CaC2, CaC2 when reacts with N2, CaC2 when reacts with N2 at the temperature, very high temperature around 1300 Kelvin. So what you will get here, you will get CaCN2 plus C. Okay, so this combined product is known as nitrolim. It is very important. This combined product is known as what? Nitrolim. And this nitrolim act as a fertilizer. This nitrolim act as a fertilizer. So this product in this com combination of 
uh, CaCN2 that is known as what calcium cyanamide to so, calcium cyanamide plus carbon the combined their com combination known as what nitrolim and it acts as a fertilizer okay again this CaCN2 calcium cyanamide it will react with water so after sorry it will react with nitrogen again again when it will react with water sorry again when it will react with water you will get CaCO3 CaCO3 plus NH3 gas so the formation of ammonia is also occurs by this if you will get if you will react it calcium cyanamide with water so what you will get from here so you will get CaCO3 plus NH3 the formation of ammonia also occurs from here okay next you can form by the nitrites how see when any uh, lithium lithium is a metal most electro positive metal when it will react with N2 so what you will get you will get a nitride nitride of Li3N Li3N again this Li3N reacts with water so you will get a base that is LiOH plus you will get what NH3 so from here also the formation of NH3 you can prepare next example next reaction magnesium when it will react with N2 it will react with N2 what you will get again you will get magnesium nitride Mg Mg uh, 3 N2 magnesium nitride again when magnesium nitride reacts with water so you will get MgOH whole twice plus NH3 so here you are getting what when it will react with nitrogen you will get what ammonia gas here again okay next if I will say about some basic thing when N2 reacts with very high or highly very high or highly electro positive element or metal electro positive element you will get a nitride form and that nitride will be of ionic in nature that nitride is of ionic in nature okay next is when n2 reacts with uh, it will react with low electro positive element so again you will get a nitride but that nitride what you are getting it is what covalent in nature it is what covalent in nature so if you will see this thing so Li and this react with nitrogen and you are getting what this nitrides okay so on further reacting with water you will get ammonia gases so what are the uses here what are the uses uses it use as a refrigerant next it is used for filling electric bulbs next it is used in the manufacture of uh, nitric acid ammonia and ca cn2 and other nitrogenous compound like nitrolim also that is used in our fertilizers okay so why nitrogen is different from other properties or we can say what is the anomalous anomalous behavior of nitrogen means why nitrogen is different from other elements from its family because as nitrogen nitrogen cannot expand its valency okay so it does not have it does not have vacant vacant d orbital vacant d orbital so it will not occur in the form of nx5 okay and it does not show p pi p pi bonding also due to its small size it is having a small size and after that if i'll say it is having a small size but high ionization energy compared to others high electron negativity compared to others okay so that is the reason it makes other uh, like things other elements uh, it is different from other elements of its family so that is the reason that uh, nitrogen have some anomalous behavior so thank you everyone so in today's class we have discussed about the nitrogen 
its preparation method physical property chemical property and after that we have discussed why nitrogen is different from others next in next class we'll discuss about the oxides of nitrogen okay thank you for more such videos please like share and subscribe to extra marks test prep youtube channel